welcome students today i am going to discuss hack with the infi round 2 contest problem which is based on greed strategy the problem title is key pair i read a problem statement given an array a of n positive integers and another number x determine whether or not there exist two elements in a whose sum is exactly x here we need to identify two numbers positive numbers whose sum is exactly x the given number if it is available just print yes otherwise print no here the input the first line of input contains an integer t denoting the number of test cases the first line of each test case is n and x n is the size of array the second line of each test case contains n integers representing the array elements a of i i is ranging from 0 to n minus 1 our output should be yes if there exist two elements in a whose sum is exactly x else you have to print no here they given the constraints t is ranging from 1 to 100 n is ranging from 1 to 10 to the power 5 a array elements that is a of i is ranging from 1 to 10 to the power 5 consider an example here i have given uh, the total number of test cases 2 and size of array is 6 and the x value is 16 finally followed by 6 array elements so maybe in random order 1 4 45 6 10 8 here the output should be s yes. because i can form 16 by using 10 and 6 my output should be yes for the second test case the number of size of a input is array element is 5 and the x is 10 the array elements are 1 2 4 3 6 6 here i can form 10 by using 4 and 6 so <coughs> this output for second test case is yes this problem can be solved by using greedy strategy greed you know that greed strategy involves pre processing before solving the problem we need to arrange the element in ascending order and we have to select the elements from the array two elements from the array such that the output should be is equal to x here i read the logic read array elements and read x Start array in ascending order. This is pre-processing step. Okay. Now we have to set left val pointer value is zero and right pointer value is n minus one. Since array is stored in array ascending order, I can take uh, leftmost value and rightmost value and find uh, sum sum of a of l and a of r and check is equal to x. If it is equal to x, mean immediately print to one. if it is less than x means just increment the counter by left leftmost pointer counter by 1 if a of l plus a of r greater than x means just decrement the counter by right counter by 1 so in this way i can identify or find the two values whose sum is exactly x you have to terminate when L value crosses R value. L value should be R less than R value. When you uh, try to identify these values, when if condition there is A of L plus A of R equal not equal to X means through the loop A of if A of L plus A of R not equal to X means which never returns. So it will come out of the loop, and saying it is not possible. 
possible means it should return no okay this is the logic it may fix a greedy strategy i implement i saw the implementation first we have to in the header file here i use c plus plus so just to include the namespace to make use of c in c out here uh, i need to define a function which returns an integer 1 or 0 if it is yes means 1 no means 0 this accepts array elements and size of an array and x i just declare a variable l and r and sort the uh, array elements in ascending order by using the sort function which is available in c plus plus if you use c mean just use q sort function and set uh, initially set the l value as 0 and r value as n minus 1 just to use loop which is available in the logic itself now use loop while l less than r check if a of l plus a of r equal to equal to x just print 1 else if a of l plus a of r less than x means just to increment it you need more uh, value which is higher than the uh, a of l okay so just increment yeah l plus plus given the value by one and if a of l plus a of r greater than x means just uh, decrement the r value by one if this if condition never works means it will come out of the loop and stay no otherwise zero this implementation here i implemented a main function which have a declaration t for test case i for iteration n for getting the size of a array x for getting the sum value just read the input by using cn and uh, get a set of test case by using iteration while t minus minus get n and x and get n array elements and uh, call the check function by passing a n a is a starting minus address uh, array n is a uh, size of an array x is a sum if it is equal to one means just print yes otherwise just to print no okay i just uh, saw the implementation in ide here i have implemented the check function here i I have sorted the array in ascending order with the L value R value. I am iteracing, I am making two pointer L and R. L uh, goes to left to right, R goes to right to left. And scanning for the number, two numbers, whose sum is equal to x. If it is true, it returns 1. A of L plus A of R is less than x means increment l value or decrement r value here i read the test cases reading n and x and array elements checking for the condition if it is equal to one check function returns one means it is possible so it just print yes or is it print no. okay that's all just execute the array given wrong input we have to give test case number of test cases we give number of test cases one and we give size of an array and the sum problem you can solve by using CRC plus plus
Thank you.